Hey guys, welcome back to Next Gen Blog. And in this video, I want to show you how you can animate a still image in VSDC Free Video Editor. So it's actually super easy to animate a still image in VSDC. So without further delay, let's get started and see how you can do this. Now, as you can see, I've already imported my demo image in the editor. So the first thing which I would like to do is I would like to increase the duration of my image in the timeline. So currently the duration of my image is 10 seconds. So I would like to increase the duration of my image from 10 seconds to 20 seconds. So let me just write 20 inside the duration option right here and then press enter. Perfect. Now the next thing which we will do is we will double click on our image and to add animation to our image, we will make use of the crop effect. So go to video effects go to transforms select crop and then click on ok now currently the duration of my crop effect is the entire duration of my image which is 20 seconds so i would like to decrease the duration of my crop effect from 20 seconds to 8 seconds so let me just write 8 inside the duration option and press enter perfect so the way i want to make my animation happen on screen is I would like my camera to focus first of all on the center of the image and then gradually move towards the top left hand side focusing on Albert Einstein's face all right and so to do that look inside the crop effect settings which is present inside the properties window and the crop mode is set to crop and resize so that's fine aspect correction mode is set to correction to smaller size so that's fine as well Inside the cropped borders option, you have four different options, left, top, right and bottom. And so first of all, change this from constant parameter value to linear parameter change inside all these options like this. And now click on this particular option called crop tools. Perfect. And so as I said before, I want my camera to focus first of all on the center of the screen. So let me just resize my camera like this and focus it on the center of the screen or on the center of the image like this perfect and uh, to make things simple I got approximate coordinates with me so let me just write those coordinates inside the left top right and bottom options so inside the left option let me just write the values 25 semicolon 0 inside the top option let me just write the values once again 25 semicolon 0 inside the right option let me write the values 75 semicolon 50 and inside the bottom option let me write the values once again just a second let me write the values once again 75 semicolon 50 and then press enter perfect and so now when i play the video for you what will happen is my camera will kind of start off by focusing on the center of the image and then gradually moving towards the top left hand side focusing on Albert Einstein's face. So watch that happen on screen right now. Perfect. Perfect. And so half our job is done. All right. And the next thing which I would like to do is I would like to I would like to um, expand my expand my camera and by that I mean I want to expand the reach of my camera from the top left hand side towards the entire image so at 8 seconds if I take my cursor at 8 seconds as you can see at 8 seconds right here or at 7 second 966 milliseconds just before 8 second my camera is present at top left hand side focusing on Albert Einstein's face so from 8 second what I really want is 
I want my camera to expand its reach from just the, this particular portion towards the entire image. And so to do that, first of all, take the cursor and place it at 8 seconds because that's when my first crop effect ends. And now we will add another crop effect. So go to video effects, go to transforms, select crop and then click on OK. Now the duration of my second crop effect is 12 seconds. So let me just decrease the duration of my second crop effect from 12 seconds to somewhere around or maybe let's say 8 seconds only. Perfect. Now look inside the crop effect settings of our second crop effect and crop mode is crop and resize aspect correction mode is correction to smaller size so all this is fine inside cropped borders again we have left top right and bottom values so change this from constant parameter value to linear parameter change inside all these values and um, i have the coordinates with me once again so inside the left option the values will be zero semicolon zero so it is already there Inside the top option, once again, the values will be 0, semicolon 0. So it is already there. Inside the right option, the values will be 50, semicolon 100. So write 50, semicolon 100 inside the right option. And inside the bottom option, the values will be, once again, 50, semicolon 100. Perfect. And so now, if I just quickly play this entire video for you from the start, now what will happen is my camera will kind of first of all focus on the center of the image and gradually move towards the top left hand side focusing on Albert Einstein's face and then the camera will expand its reach and show you the entire image. So let me just quickly play this video for you. Right here my camera is moving from the center of the image towards the top left hand side focusing on Albert Einstein's face and now it is kind of expanding its reach and kind of showing the entire image. Perfect. So this is how guys you can animate a still image in VSTC free video editor. You can do a lot of different things. You just need to play around these values inside left, top, right and bottom options. And you can do a lot of different things with this. But uh, anyways, do let me know your thoughts in the coming section below. Like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will again see you in the next video. Till then, thanks for watching.